सो हाई एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम टेंथ टू इलेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री और राइट सो या विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्लास एंड या कीप ऑन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दी आर बी एड बी एग्जामिनेशन नोटिफिकेशन आज नहीं तो कल तो आना ही है सो जस्ट डोंट लूज आउट द टाइम डोंट लेट योर मोटिवेशन गेट डाउन ठीक है कुछ प्रॉब्लम होती है तो यू कैन कनेक्ट मी थ्रू द टेलीग्राम और इंस्टाग्राम और राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज अबाउट द प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द स्कीम नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग व्हाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ न्यू स्कीम इट वॉज लॉन्च इन दर टू सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट बिकॉज रिसेंटली इट हैज कंप्लीटेड एट ईयर्स ऑफ इट्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज इन न्यूज राइट so it's our duty it's our responsibility to discuss this scheme right so <clears throat> pradhan mantri mudra yojana has completed 8 years of its implementation and these are some of the achievements these are some of the data which have been provided by the government of india regarding pradhan mantri mudra yojana number 1 more than 40.82 crore loans amounting to rupees uh, 23.32 lakh crore matlab itna amount ka aur itne loans नंबर ऑफ लोन इज फोर फोर्टी पॉइंट एट टू करोर्स एंड दैट अमाउंट टू ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू लैख करोर्स है लॉन्च अप्रोक्सीमेटेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल लोन बीन सेंक्शन टू द न्यू वेंचर्स न्यू ऑन्टरप्रेनोर्स एंड आउट ऑफ ऑल दी लोन विच है गिवेन अंडर द स्कीम अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल सैंक्शन लोन वर गिवेन टू द वेमेन एंड ऑन्टरप्रेनोर्स एंड फिफ्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ द लोन have been given have been sanctioned to the sc st and ob category obc categories of entrepreneurs now you don't have to remember all these data however if you can remember you can remember this 69% of the loans have been sanctioned to the women entrepreneurs while 51% of the uh, of all the loans given under the scheme have been sanctioned to the sc st or obc uh, borrowers okay now let's talk about the pradhan mantri mudra yojana but before that this is the table given by the government which shows the percentage of the types of loan theek hai there are three types of loan under this scheme as you all know shishu kishor and tarun jinko nahi pata don't worry abhi hum padhenge pradhan mantri mudra yojana so number of loans ki term mein baat kare to shishu sabse zyada diya gaya hai 83% and amount sanction mein bhi sabse zyada hai 40% right kishor 15% and amount sanction is 36% of the total amount and tarun is 2% just 2% of the total number of loans while 24% of the amount sanctioned in the uh, of all the loans is from the tarun type of loan okay so now let's talk about the pradhan mantri mudra yojana so as you all know guys pradhan mantri mudra yojana now ab objective hame identify karna hai pm mudra yojana so how can we identify the objective of this scheme see mudra yojana mudra has a full form micro unit development refinance agency micro unit development refinance agency in fact mudra is a bank also right uske bare mein hum padhenge aage so mudra stands for micro unit development refinance agency which means the government is providing financing to the micro units right and what is what is the type of finance that government can provide in the form of loans only so right so it is a loan giving scheme to the micro units to the entrepreneurs who have a certain idea of a business right so that is the objective of this scheme to fund the unfunded for promotion of entrepreneurship i hope this is clear it was launched in the year 2015 by the ministry of finance and it is being implemented by this ministry only ministry of finance is the implementing ministry and who can avail the loan who can avail the loan facility under the scheme any citizen any indian citizen who has a business plan for a non farm बिजनेस इनकम जनरेशन एक्टिविटी ठीक है नॉन फार्म एक्टिविटी होना चाहिए हाउ एवर एलाइड एक्टिविटीज टू एग्रीकल्चर आर एलिजिबल राइट नॉन फार्म तो लिखा है बट एक्टिविटीज अलाइड टू एग्रीकल्चर आर एलिजिबल राइट लोन्स आर बींग गिवन बाय शेड्यूल कमर्शियल बैंक आर आर बी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक एनबीएफसी माइक्रो फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन सो ऑल इन ऑल एवरी फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन गिव लोन्स अंडर प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना now which are the activities for which the loans is provided the activity should be income generating pehli cheez to ye loss making nahi hona chahiye income generating activities hona chahiye in manufacturing trading and services sector all the sectors have been included and also for activities allied to agriculture as i already told you right 
now there is a mudra card mudra card uh, are provided to the beneficiaries who are enrolled under the scheme who are taking the benefits of the scheme now this mudra card is nothing but a rupee debit card which can be used for drawing cash for atm or through business correspondence and of course there is an app for effective implementation of the scheme that is known as mudra mitra app right mudra mitra app which guides a loan seeker to approach a banker in availing mudra loan under this particular scheme all right talking more about it so this is the most important part three types of loans are provided absolutely collateral free there is no requirement of collateral to have the loans under the scheme the three types of loan are shishu kishor and tarun under shishu the loans the maximum amount of loan is provided is rupees 50000 Kishor above fifty thousand and up to five lakhs, and in Tarun above five lakhs and up to rupees ten lakh. All right, and interest rate is as per the uh, policy decision of the bank. जो भी bank decide करेगा, जो भी जितने पे वो loan देना चाहता है, वो होगा. There is no uh, such provision like interest subvention or uh, any kind of subsidy in interest, and there is no fixed interest rate as well. जो भी uh, prevailing interest rates होंगे banks के. so banks uh, have been given autonomy in deciding the interest rates right now there is a mudra bank which is the official or you can say implementing agency for this scheme which stands for micro units development refinance agency it was established under companies act of 2013 as an nbfc non banking financial company its parent organization is sidbi sidbi is the parent organization of mudra bank and mudra bank is located in mumbai and of course as the name says it is a refinance agency which provides loans to uh, micro finance institution and nbfcs which then provide credit to the uh, borrowers or the small entrepreneurs or the small units theek hai ye refinancing agency hai which gives uh, loans to the micro finance institutions or the nbfcs and then these micro finance institutions and nbfcs give that loan to the beneficiary under the scheme theek hai ji so that is all about this scheme i hope the scheme is clear and now let's come back to the question the scheme was launched in 2015 to fund the unfunded for promotion of entrepreneurship sahi baat hai it is being implemented by ministry of commerce and industry is that so no it is being implemented by ministry of finance and the maximum amount of loan that can be awarded under under the scheme is rupees 10 lakh yes that is under the tarun type of loan above 5 lakh and up to 10 lakh right so the maximum amount of loan that can be awarded under the scheme is 10 lakh only so this one and three are correct so option c will be the correct answer option c will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 2 and there are some various important schemes that we are going to discuss today so today's session guys is very very important ek ho gayi hai vibrant villages program padhenge aur third ye hai national mission in interdisciplinary cyber physical system you need to identify the incorrect statement about this scheme this mission now first of all what is what do you mean by cyber physical system what is cyber physical system so remember guys it is an interdisciplinary field that deals with the deployment of something and what is that something computer based system that do things in the physical world right for example jo driverless car hoti hai driverless car driverless car is an example of this cyber physical system or you can say the sensors which are installed in the cars are also the example of cyber physical system right it integrates what happens in the cyber physical system is that it is an integration basically of sensing computation control and networking into physical objects like for example the driverless car the driverless car consists consist of the sensors consist of the computation consist of the controls right physical objects and infrastructure connecting them to the internet and to each other right so that is uh, the meaning of cyber physical system and this mission is in news because uh, some national workshop was organized under this scheme under this mission that's why we are discussing uh, this mission so let's talk about this mission then we will identify the incorrect statement about this mission right i hope the meaning of cps is clear but still agar aapko koi doubt hoga to you guys can ask me in the comment section So it was launched in the year 2018 with a total outlay of 3660 crores. 3660 crores for a period of five years. The implementing agency is Department of Science and Technology, and of course, the Ministry. If anyone asks you what is the Ministry, so the Ministry is the Ministry of Science and Technology, which is headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh. All right. 
now all <clears throat> it this mission is a pan india mission which is a which brings together academia industry government and international organization for development of cyber physical system right for its research for its you know human resource development sari cheeze with respect to the cyber physical system isme ki ja rahi hai by inviting by bringing together the academia industry government international organization industrial organization all right now what will uh, happen under this 15 technology innovation hubs will be established six application innova innovation hubs are being established in fact and four technology translation research parks are being established and all these hubs and parks will focus on four major areas which are technology development hrd and skill development innovation entrepreneurship and startup ecosystem development and international collaboration all these hubs are focusing on these four major areas theek hai ji so i hope guys this scheme is clear and now let's come back to the question we need to identify the incorrect statement it was launched in 2018 by department of science and technology correct it has a total outlay of 3660 crores for duration of 5 years no uh, yes this is correct it is being implemented only in maharashtra gujarat karnataka tamil nadu and in city of delhi is that so because we have just studied that it is a pan india mission it is a pan india mission so this statement is incorrect which is the correct answer to this question option c and now let's move ahead to the question number 3 which is an easy question and very short question where will 23 spring meetings of world bank group and imf be held so this meeting will take place in the headquarters of imf and uh, world bank that is the that is washington dc and option c is the correct answer theek hai option c iska sahi jawab hai but isme kya kya cheeze hongi so this these uh, these meetings this, this will be a series of meetings right it will be attended by finance minister and central bankers from across the world and from india side uh finance ministry ke officials jayenge and it will comprise officials from the ministry of finance and rbi राइट सो दैट इज ऑल इससे ज्यादा इसमें आपको पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है दैट इज मोर देन इनफ सो वॉशिंगटन डीसी इज द करेक्ट आंसर वॉशिंगटन डीसी या वॉशिंगटन डीसी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड बोथ आईएमएफ एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक आर नोन एज व्हाट ब्रिटेन वुड्स ट्विंस आई होप यू ऑल नो दिस दैट्स वेरी इजी इंफॉर्मेशन ब्रिटेन वुड्स ट्विंस बोलते हैं बिकॉज़ दे वर एस्टैब्लिश्ड आफ्टर द ब्रिटेन वुड्स कॉन्फ्रेंस व्हिच टुक प्लेस इन यूएसए and uh, both were established in the year 1945 imf is headed by kristalina kristalina georgieva and world bank is headed by mr david malpas right and there are five arms of world bank kon kon se ibrd international bank for reconstruction development ifc international finance corporation ida international development agency multilateral investment guarantee agency mega and international center for settlement of investment disputes so these are the five arms of world bank so world bank is nothing but the collective these five arms collectively known as together known as what world bank right so yeah that's all washington dc mein dono ka headquarter hai question number 4 ministry of home affairs is in, is the has launched thoda sa gadbad hai yahan pe i'll make the changes in the pdf ministry of home affairs has launched vibrant villages program to help border villages in achieving uh inclusive growth and retaining the population in the border areas so the question is it is being implemented with an outlay of 4800 crores of this amount how much amount is exclusively for road connectivity so we have discussed vibrant villages programs two three times before as well but today it has been launched officially so that's why uh, we are discussing uh, this scheme so it has been launched from a village which is known as kibitu Kibitu is a border village. Kibitu is a border village in Anjao district of Arunachal Pradesh, right? Anjao district of Arunachal Pradesh का वहाँ का एक border village है Kibitu. Now Vibrant Villages program guys was announced to help border villages in achieving inclusive growth and retaining the population so that the population of that particular village does not migrate in search of livelihood opportunities. तो वहीं पे लाइवलीहुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज दी जाएगी बॉर्डर विलेजेस में सो दैट द माइग्रेशन कैन बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ओके ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्कीम विल बी फाइनेंशियल ईयर 22 23 टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर 26 दैट इज अप टू द एंडिंग ऑफ द 15 फाइनेंस कमीशन पीरियड 
It is a centrally sponsored scheme with a total outlay of 4800 crores and out of this 4800 crores, 2500 crores will be used for the road connectivity, road components and rest 2300 crores will be used for other components. Now this is the financial year wise breakup of the outlay, financial for road component and for other components, right? So for financial year 23-24, 500 crores for road component and other ke liye 700 crore. For 24-25, 1,750. For 25-26, 1,800. Total for road components 2,500 and for other components it is 2,300. Total ministry, we all know it is the Ministry of Home Affairs. Now how many villages, in how many villages this scheme will be implemented? 2,967. 2,967 villages in 19 districts and 46 border blocks. 46 blocks. 2967 villages of 46 blocks of 19 districts of 4 states and 1 UT. Which are these 4 states? Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Unachal Pradesh and Sikkim and 1 UT is Ladakh. In the first phase, 662 villages have been identified for priority out of which 455 villages are from Arunachal Pradesh. Okay? Now remember, under funds will be provided for development of uh, essential infrastructure and creation of livelihood opportunities and this will help uh, the people in those border villages to stay in their respective villages and do not migrate in search for any kind of livelihood opportunities or you know in search of employment. Okay? Now these are the key focus areas. Okay? Ji, kya -kya? Jo humne road component hai aur other component hai. To other component mein kya -kya? Sabse pehle to road component connectivity with all weather road then drinking water, 24-7 electricity, mobile and internet connectivity, tourist center, multipurpose centers, healthcare infrastructure and wellness center, the basics, right? The basic amenities shall be provided. The infrastructure with respect to the basic amenities shall be developed under the vibrant villages program. Okay, so I hope this scheme is clear. So the question is about how much amount out of 4,800 crore is exclusively for the road component. So that's 2500 crores. Option B is the correct answer. And now let's move ahead to the questions in short. Uh, but before that, if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And guys, remember one thing that these classes, PIB 247 and RBI 247, are for ESI current and finance current respectively. For phase one current, for phase 1 current, Neha Ma'am is taking the monthly revision classes and along with that you can avail the monthly magazine Spotlight which is freely available for all on the website anujindal.in Okay, so you can download it. Question number 5. Prime Minister Modi has recently laid the foundation stone of Ames BB Nagar where it is located. Where is it located? Ames BB Nagar. BB Nagar is in Hyderabad. And where is Hyderabad? It is in Telangana. Option A is the correct answer. And these, all these aims are being constructed under the Pradhan Mantri Swastha Suraksha Yojana, which was launched in the year 2003 with the dual objectives of setting up of aims like institution and for strengthening the existing government medical colleges. Right. The scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. All right. Which is currently headed by Dr. Mansuk Mandavia. Question number six. Whereas the Central Council for Research in Homeopathy under Ministry of Ayush uh, organized a scientific convention on the occasion of World Homeopathy Day, which is observed every year on 10th of April, on the occasion of birth anniversary of Dr. Samuel Hanuman, which is the father of homeopathy. So this convention took place in New Delhi. Option D is the correct answer. Question number seven. How much target of nuclear power generation has been set by the Department of Atomic Energy by the year 2030? Very important question. So the target of nuclear power generation by 2030 is 20 gigawatt. Option C is the correct answer. Option C. Question number 9, 8. How much nuclear sources will be contributing in electricity generation by the year 2047? Again, an important question about the nuclear sources. So by 2047, of all the electricity generation, 9% will be from the nuclear sources. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 9, important question. Bowen Palli vegetable market has become the very first to generate electricity from vegetable waste. Now where is it located? Bowen Palli. 
Bohampalli again is in Hyderabad, which is in Telangana. And option B is the correct answer. <coughs> question number 10, again, important question. Jojila Tunnel Project is being implemented in JNK to provide all weather connectivity between Srinagar Valley and Lake on NH1. What is the total length of this tunnel? So, when Atal Tunnel was made, there was a lot of exams in the question of Atal Tunnel ki length. Ka. And now, uh, this tunnel is being constructed. So, the length of this tunnel can also be asked which is 13,153 meters. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 11, there is National Climate Conclave 2023 being organized to discuss various issues related to climate change, forest and wildlife conservation and clean energy. Remember, this conclave was organized in Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh. Option E is the correct answer. And the last question for today with which IIT has UIDAI signed MOU to develop a robust mobile touchless biometric capture system for easier usage by people anytime, anywhere. This collaboration, this MOU has been signed with IIT Bombay and that is why option E is the correct answer. Alright, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next class on Monday. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye, take care and God bless.